Hello, I'm Jim Porter, and as the son of a former NRA president, and as a lifelong member myself, I'm delighted to introduce another treasure from our National Firearms Museum. And what a prize it is, a model 1899 Savage lever action rifle, beautifully engraved and gold inlaid. It's a lever action rifle, hammerless, with a six shot rotary magazine, which was a significant improvement from previous lever actions. That's because earlier lever action rifles were designed with tubular magazines mounted underneath the barrel, and this created a problem at the turn of the 19th century with the introduction of smokeless powder and pointed spitzer bullets. But let's talk to an expert about that. Prior to the introduction of smokeless powder and the pointed spitzer bullet, a standard cartridge for big game would have been a large brass cased cartridge filled with black powder with a large diameter lead bullet. With the introduction of the smokeless powder with uh, higher velocities, a smaller bullet was able to be used to the same effect, and the spitzer or pointed bullet design was introduced to allow for better aerodynamics and better ballistics. The problem with the spitzer bullet and tubular magazines was that when the rounds are resting in the tubular magazine, the front of one bullet is resting against the primer of the cartridge in front of it, and under heavy recoil, inertia may press hard enough against that primer to ignite the cartridge while still in the magazine. Savage approached this problem by introducing the rotary magazine that allowed the use of these pointed spitzer bullets in the same way that the Winchester Model 1895 in the same year introduced a box magazine. This particular Savage 99 is beautifully decorated and only about a thousand Savage 99s were engraved at the factory, which makes them especially rare. This ornate scroll engraving is especially unusual, using multiple colors of gold inlay, as well as featuring the Savage Indian Head logo on one side and the seal of the National Rifle Association on the other. Beyond the engraving, this gun was also the one millionth Savage 99 produced. As you can see by the serial number, it was a special presentation from Savage Arms Company to the National Rifle Association, and it's proudly on display every day at the National Firearms Museum.